All right, another thing I want to do is I want to go over uh, testing the six pin harness coming up to the HCU and that's the power and grounds. One is major power, the other one is backup power. So let's go see how we do that. Okay, we have the breakout boxes plugged in between the HCU up here underneath and I've broken into the harness between the X2 data link cable. So now what I'm going to do is go over the testing of power and ground to those connections between the HCU and the PCU. So here is your X2 data link harness plug. That's that plug connection that has six wires in it. And it is labeled pins one, two, and three, and then four, five, and six on the other side. So I've gone into the workshop manual and I have pins one I'm interested in, pins three I'm interested, pins four, and pin six. So the backup power and the backup ground is a separate supply coming from the PCU. The B plus main and the B, B minus main is ground and power supply from the PCU. Now on gas product this is different because this goes through the actual fuse panel. It's not like a diesel, so we're going to get um, the similar voltages on both sides here. But what I'm going to look for is while it's running, I want to see if there's any discrepancy in how these voltages change. So wire colors, all right, I've labeled those here. So we're looking for the red wires, obviously in the solid black wires are going to compare. On the breakout box up here, what you have is we have the pin connections in the breakout box for two pin, three pin, four pin, and we're gonna start at pin 10, which is going to be the six pin harness plug connection here. So I'm interested in the breakout box pins 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, would correspond to pins one, two, three, four, five, and six of my plug connection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect between pins one and three which is my main power supply and my B minus ground. So that's ground and power. We're gonna look at that first. So let's see what we do is pins one and three is pin 10 and pin 12. So I'm gonna hook my meter up and let's see what we get. So here's pin 10 and pin 12. So between pins 10 and 12, we do have battery power. We have 12.39 volts, whatever the voltage of the battery is. I'm looking for consistent battery voltage. I'll start it up and we'll check to make sure that number doesn't fluctuate and our graph doesn't fluctuate like we have a loose connection. We'll do a little wiggle in too. The other one I wanna check obviously is, again, we wanna check up the backup power supply. That's gonna be pins 15 and pins 13 on the breakout box. So I'm gonna switch over to pins 15 and pin 13 and again we get about the same exact voltage 12.39 volts so i'm going to start it up now and let's just see what we get and we'll do just a little bit of a, a wiggle on the harness plug where the x2 data link plugs into this and see what we get pins 10 and 12. so 14.13 and pins 13 and pins 15 and 14.16. And then I'm going to take that harness plug here, my extra dialing harness that's under my breakout box, and I'm going to wiggle those wires a little, and I just want to see if I see any fluctuation in that bar graph. I'm going to go back to 10 and 12. Yeah, it looks pretty consistent, so not a harness plug there. So definitely not a harness plug problem that I'm seeing, but if I had low voltage on either of those circuits, I'm going to have a problem with my HCU, and it's going to start dropping out functions. So again, breakout box pins 10 and 12 is your main. Pins 13 and 15 is your backup power supply. Different on a diesel, definitely on the Bosch processes are not e control processes, so they're very different than this. Okay, so that's the uh, test procedure for checking for power and grounds on an X2 data link harness on a gas product EVCD. I uh, hope that helps you find the problem.